<laughs> She's just like, hey, Ray! Alright, I got so you. So the only she character quest you haven't done is on our order, didn't she? I've had her put two all materials together. <laughs> just for the sake of it? Ah, uh, yes. All material with all material makes it all. All, all. All, all. Manipulate steel. I mean, all that's, exception. That's what she attempted to do. Kinda works? <laughs> she put two enemy skills on Tifa. <laughs> God! I mean, damn it! Now's the perfect time to change your party around since you had to remove everything anyway. Yeah, that's true. Uh, 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 oh, we're gonna try out Vincent for a while? No? Maybe. I tried him a bit last time, remember? Oh, did we? Oh, yeah, because he had his uh, gun. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of lost it that he just whipped out a revolver. Yeah, I remember now. Okay, you know what? Let's put Yuffie here and not give her any materia just to be a dick. Nah, I don't want to do that. That's, that's kind of funny, like that. I'd also put you at a huge disadvantage. <laughs> Alright, um... I suppose all that's left now is, is just continue on with pot progression. What was next? Uh, Juno. Uh, Juno. Are we going to Junon again? Oh, yeah, okay, I remember that. You know, wherever the frick that is. Going to unlock the submarine. Yay! Again, <laughs> wherever the frick that is. Junon's the place with the big gun. That's its name? Yep. You know, I suppose I never did figure out its name, so that checks out. Could be fun. Could be a good time. Start taking for a ride. Ah, I'm out. Oh. I told Cam about it technically, but I, I did it. I bought I pulled the trigger, I paid for the song the hedgehog Lego set. Oh you did? Yeah. How much was it? It's seventy dollars. An extra five for taxes, so seventy-five. Oh, that's not bad, though. I mean, and that's. Uh, I mean, like, it is kind of bad, zone. but all Legos are overpriced. That's so. true. <laughs> yeah. By Lego standards, Lego. not that bad. That's. <laughs> I think it probably should have been about fifty dollars, but oh, well. yeah. I wanted it. I literally, I don't think I've bought a Lego set in ten years, so. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I haven't bought an upgrade for one of Yuffie's weapons in ages. Well, because you haven't been using her. Nope. Get fricked, idiot! Shut the fuck up, idiot! Ah, uh, yes. Strikers. Good time. Character development. <clears throat> you finally got to say the F word. So, Junon is the place with the gun. Yep. So, in Strikers Royal, do we finally get to have Joker tell Morgana to go to sleep? That'd be amazing. God. We're about a month out from the next announcement. Because the next announcement is in February. A lot of announcements coming up. February, Persona, and April's Kingdom Hearts, right? Yeah. Yep. April 1st? 10th? 10th. Because it's 104. April 10th. April 10th for people in Japan. However many days it decides for them to actually give us whatever they'll tell us after that. And somebody will They're tell usually not it. too mean. It's usually within the next 24 hours. Yeah. Okay. Wow, this place is a free heal, too. <laughs> These things are everywhere now, apparently. Oh, well, you know, the world's about to end, so who cares? That is true. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Maybe they've got something for Yuffie. 
I mean, the Man. weapons guys don't give you their weapons for free, so I guess they cares. Man. So when the world is ending, people are like, let you sleep in for free. But when our world is ending, people will just freak out and want to buy stuff. Yeah. Buy stuff. I mean, remember the big toilet paper crap at the start of COVID? Oh dear God, don't even uh, remind me. How about the fact that people tried to scalp toilet paper? They did! It was a respiratory disease! What the heck do you need toilet paper for? Uh, they were just panicking. They were just panicking. More buying. panicking and buying toilet paper. So people saw that there was a market for that, and they started scalping toilet paper. Um, yeah. And this is the only time I've ever seen the government crack down on scalping because they stopped Whoa. people from scalping toilet paper. Basically, if they caught you doing it, you got fined. Uh, yeah. I've... Yeah. When did I agree Ooh. to this? I did not agree to this. Also, Ooh, people who scalped girl. toilet paper, they were not allowed to sell their toilet paper, so they were stuck with it. Ha, idiots. It was hilarious. It was, uh, it was a picture of a guy with his house floor to ceiling with toilet paper he had bought, and he couldn't get rid of any of it. So stupid. And got what he deserved, I say. Okay, so I, I need to pay him 10 gil. Why can't, yeah. why can't I just beat him up? No. Because then he won't open the door for you. Yeah. Okay, uh. so now that the door's open, why can't I just beat him up and take my gil back? It's only 10 gil and you're not that petty. Yes, I am. Have you met me? Are you kidding? It's only, it's only 10 gil and Cloud's not that petty. Okay, you know what? That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> oh, I love that. You're not I, that petty. What are you talking about? Clouds! Not that petty. Like, you really oh, had to... <laughs> correct your statement. Oh, oh the yeah. minor event of the best. Let's do the freaking uh, March mini game again. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it again. I didn't even attempt to do that. <laughs> I didn't this even This time do you it. have to do it good or it's automatic game over and stuff like that. I days. love the fact that it took like almost 10, I think it took like 10 minutes until he finally got in the line. It, I have never seen anyone struggle with running in the line that much. That was hilarious. Oh, God. I, mean, I, I didn't do it my first try either, but it didn't take yeah. me 20 tries. <laughs> Oh man, there'd be soft lock right there. Okay, I mean, so it wasn't even was... soft lock, he was just doing it wrong. I know, that's why I was like I don't know. This is hilarious. I don't even know how he was doing it wrong. I wish I could see. The window's actually pretty large. He was just somehow missing it by a lot. Cloud, he used the open screen you attack. Is. That was the FB button. Oh, Danny, do you know what level you're supposed to be to actually do the, uh, the mission to unlock Cloud's final limit? Uh, oh, Omni Slash? I... Let me see. I wasn't gonna ask you to look it up, I was just wondering if you were, because, uh, you I said you did a lot of the extra stuff. I did do a lot of the extra stuff. I remember I tried to do it at about this level and I got stopped. Let me see, I think it was level 50, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't think it's level 50. I'm not being on If it is level 50, I was doing something horribly wrong, because I got stopped. I beat the first enemy in the list, and then the second one defeated me. And I think I had to do, like, 10. The <laughs> Omni Slash... from a level, it, he has to win it from the battle square in Golden Saucer. Yeah, but like, what level are, do you have to be to be appropriate for the battle square? Because... Oh, uh... Yeah, according to Andrew, he kind of got his crap kicked in by the battle square. Like, yeah, I think when I, I, did... I came in, a, I came in around this point in the game, which Cameron's about level 50, if not more, I believe. Uh, 49, I believe. I think, I, did I think you're actually under level compared to where I was. Yeah, he has to get, uh... He has to get 
could be like maybe 1,000 BP. So I would say, like, I think I did it with around level 65. And I managed to pull it off. Because I'm level 85. So Alright, so Sephiroth does get bad, does get easier with level. I thought Sephiroth would stay about the same. Oh my god. Because I heard he scales to cloud. Does he? Because I beat him four moves. Really? Oh man, I really went to that fight under level then, because it took me a long ass time to beat him. I need to be fair. I got my limit on the time that I beat Sephiroth, because I've only actually beat Sephiroth once. <laughs> I got my limit on the time I beat Sephiroth with every character three times each. Yeah, no, he didn't do Supernova. He did Supernova five times! <laughs> oh my so god! A very lucky, a very good time then. Because I made sense. I went to floor with that. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I am positive I went into that boss under level. That boss took me an hour. Yeah. I only stopped at 85 because I, I, the only achievement I didn't get was getting... Well, the only two I didn't get was... Maxing out the wallet, and then level 99, but it took forever. Well, the thing, it drives me nuts, because I was trying to look up and see if there's a strategy for, for say, for Sephiroth, and nobody would tell me one, because everyone goes into that fight way over level. It was like, I just want to know what the strategy is if you go into the fight, like, just yeah. following the story, not doing extra shit. That's the thing like every guy was telling me about how, oh, by yeah, this time, I've yeah. got this, you've done all the extra shit. You can just pull out Knights of the Round, Knights of the Round, the one shot. I don't want to do that. I want a challenge, damn it. So yeah, if you go into Sephiroth at the level I went into him at, he's a pain in the ass. Yeah. No, like, I did get, like, all the limits. I got all the summons. Uh, all the... I think we got all the, the best weapons for the for each person. So... Had all the best weapons for I th again again everyone except Cloud because I think you also have to get Cloud's oh best my weapon. God. From oh my God! No, no, no! no this is against the weapon. Oh, the Omega weapon, whatever. It's like my own saucer and dear God, that is the hardest thing you'll ever do in the entire game, Arnon. Tifa really pimped out because I had just like everything on my purse. Yeah, and uh, well, I think my final one, my final team was Cloud, Barret, and Sid. I can't believe you removed Tifa from the party. <sighs> I know. Sacrilegious. Sacrilegious, I know I did it. But... I know when I beat it, I had to wait, because my, the time I beat the game, I went in, uh, Yuffie had been my main party member for most of the game, I think. No, no, it was Barret. That's what that was. It was Barrett had been my main party for member for most of the game, my main third member for most of the game. And then to try and even out the power levels of my teams for the first boss, I put Barrett on one of the extra team on the extra team that would have originally been the weakest one. And I replaced my third member for the final boss fight with Yuffie. Yeah. But Yuffie was barely doing anything because she was uh, 15 levels below Cloud and Tifa. <laughs> Well, the funny thing is that I did, I mean, Barrett was on purpose because I was going for that achievement or the little saucer date. And oh, I didn't way, care about that achievement. I don't think I'll ever go for that achievement. I care about it. It's, it's hilarious, though. It's very funny. But that means playing the entire game to not do the thing I want to do. No, wait, no, fair enough. That's fair. Like, that's something that I would probably just look up once for someone else who did it, but never actually bothered doing it myself. Oh, that's fair. I'm actually really annoyed they made it an achievement because it's supposed to be a who do you like best try to get close to them in the locker oh, day, but they is. they railroad you into a specific character. Well, the thing is, most people will not go for Barrett. You know, most of the time it's going to be either Aerith, Tifa, maybe even Yuffie. So, well, the, it's only, like, the problem is, like, it's really easy to get relationship points with Tifa or Aerith. It's yeah. never impossible to get relationship points with Barrett. You have to actively anger Tifa and Aerith to get him. I don't agree with everything Barrett says. Or at least I can love. So it's yeah. like, 
you know, Bear Tom is going to be a lot harder, or at least not as, like, intentionally going, gunning for it. That's part of why, like, uh, on that, uh, on that video I showed you a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. I, I was hyping out that I got Barrett in the Sephiroth fight in the remake, because just like in this game, Barrett's a pain in the ass to get there. Every other time I had done the Sephiroth fight, I got Aerith. As I the second the thing, character. Well, I think that what it is is that it's based on the last two people you talked to, I think, in that Sephiroth fight. It was based off of relationship point values. Oh, was it? Okay. I think so, because I believe there's two things in Remake that are the relationship point values. The first is the conversation in Aerith's house before you do Operation Save Aerith, where you either have a conversation with Tifa, Barrett, or Cloud has a dream about Aerith. Uh, and then I think the second time is who joins you for the Sephiroth fight. Gotcha. I don't know, I thought it was... Because someone said I thought it was, like, based off the thoughts you really talked to, but relationship points would make more sense. I don't think so, because... I don't know, I always talk to them. What the fuck? And I always get Tifa first. <laughs> Which makes sense, because she's always the one with the highest relationship point value. Mm -hmm. What the hell is going on? Like, That's did, a cat. No, did you guys see the tiniest soldier I just picked up? Oh yeah, the 135th. It's some sort of a side quest. I don't know actually what to do with it. I've never done it, but I know uh... there's a quest involved in the soldiers. They're rolling over in unison. Uh, not quite. Oh no, it was just okay. Not quite. Okay, it was just there. Uh, that was. It was just, just the coincidence. That was a very I thought, funny. I thought they were, they were making a joke like that. They're so well trained Jeez. soldiers that even in sleep they toss and turn in their sleep in unison. I That's thought that was what they were doing. That would have been funny. And roll over. Ow! Bluff your pillow again. Uh. Roll over again. Uh. <laughs> Repeat. Oh yeah. Now the drill, sar the drill sergeant's yelling that while snoring, and he's doing it too. I genuinely have no idea where I'm going. I'll be real. I'm trying to find a way underwater. Well, yeah. So I, I'm in the military base. I just need to find their. I think it's in here. There should be an elevator down. Well, I took one up, so that's absolutely not the right way. Yeah. Well, let's see where this leads. This is... I don't know. I this found the computer remember. room! Oh! It's, we found the computer room! Somebody get Vector! That is a Shadow the Hedgehog yeah. joke for the viewers at home. Only the classiest jokes for me. So classy. This door apparently doesn't exist, even though the game is telling me it does. Well, you can't go there yet. You can go there ever? I assume so. I didn't even know you could get into that room. Maybe you get the oh, specific thing. Well, we fulfilled our quota of accidentally finding some shit that Andrew didn't know about a game he's playing. I mean, playing. there's nothing up here, so it's not like you actually found anything. But yeah, I didn't know that was there. Them, we take those because we take them. I don't think bio is good. I use bolt, not bio. Oh, bolt. My bad. Correct. I forgot to mention it when we were here the first time, but this area of the base is actually somewhere you can walk around the first time you visit Junon. Really? And it's very dangerous to do so, but if you grind in here, you can level up the endgame levels way early in the game very easily. So you can end up in this area your first time you visit Junon. All the doors are locked, but you can be in this hallway and you get the same spawns that you're getting right now. And these are endgame level enemies, even though you beat it really easily. I mean, I'm that close to endgame levels. Uh, I mean, 
I think the game expects you to beat it at around level 50. Yeah, that's always been like the magic Although, number for... Sephiroth doesn't seem experience. to fit that, and Sephiroth seems like he wants you way higher. But right. not 85. <laughs> 95 would be overkill, but I definitely went into a too low level. No, no, yeah. No, I mean, I, considering I mean, I my past easy. experiences grinding up to max level uh, to just casually bully final bosses. Oh! Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I have several questions. I got some drugs. I got a watch. Hey, it's a oh, better hey. weapon than what Yuffie's got already. Yeah, that's her joke weapon. It doesn't have any Way serious better. slots. Oh. He sells the joke weapons. At least the joke weapons have a purpose in remake. Oh, it's one of these guys. I used to be a soldier. I so see that. So oh, so he just has... Well, that's better than the joke weapon. True. Here you go, Yuffie. Yay! That's one material slot, though. Eh, go live. Okay, where is it? What are you looking for? Uh, this is the Junon Inn, so I'm looking for the enemy skill material. I don't remember where it is. You said you've only ever seen three. Yeah, but this would be the one that, it, that I got, because I didn't get the one from the, from Chocobo, the Chocobo room. He sells the super powerful stuff for attracting high-ranking chocobos and stuff. Ah, uh, so that'd be why I don't know about him, because I've never done the chocobo stuff. One of these days I'm going to have to, because I would like to actually go out of my way and get Knights of the Round and stuff, and attempt the super bosses. All the real soldiers died fighting weapons. Yeah, that sounds accurate. Honestly, yeah, this place is easy. a lot more, like, put together than I expected it to be. <laughs> like, in terms of world building? Well, they repelled the monster before it really started tearing Junon apart. But not before it could uh, murder an awful lot of people with the tidal wave, which was created by ramming Yeah. True. I don't think the thing's dead. I think it's the thing you're gonna see when you get the submarine swimming underwater. So it's just pissed off. Yeah. Oh, you're about the one that got shot in the cannon? Yeah, I don't think it's dead. Oh, no, no, it is dead. The other the one you see on the water is the emerald weapon. See, I thought the one that got shot was the emerald weapon. They look kind of similar, but no, it's, it's a similarly similar weapon. We're going on a helicopter ride. Oh, that's good service. I didn't know this was here either. Ooh. I've never used the helicopter. Okay, so I need to find a way to go down. There should be an elevator inside that leads down and just sort of keeps going down. You know what? I think I know where All right. I was about to hold a guy that was here at the Uh, okay, go the other way. This way? I think so. Because there should be a little tunnel you should access. Uh, okay. Because that thing 
goes up. Yeah, I think it's right through there. This. Yeah, right through there. Yeah. Now towards us. Yes. Yes. Let's go. No, 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 no. From where Cloud was standing. Go back, go back. You realize so both of those were to the left, right? I said turn left. Murder! Come back here. Shinra, you freaking morons. I think the idea is he was going to have me charge Cloud, but while he was whistling, they turned around. I also turned on the fire alarm because I could. God damn it. Turning on the alarm is how you pull out these enemies. So it's these enemies right here. You could come in here anytime, turn on that alarm, and face these enemies. Oh. Oh god. They have a lot of HP for your, the first time you visit Janon. That's why it's dangerous as hell, but it could be rewarded. Oh, shit. Shit. oh my god, it's almost. Can't wait for the next Kim Hearts game to be announced out of the event where Sora gets arrested by TVA for time travel. <laughs> ah. Are you funny? You can see it now, they'll arrest the one that doesn't get crystallized. You know, hey, the no uh, building the event is going to take place in is actually seen in the background of the Yozora fight. What do you say again? Uh, the building that the Kingdom Hearts anniversary event takes place in is actually, like, visible during the Yozora fight. I mean, I would assume so. It's happening in the same area. So I think they want you to be able to see the Tokyo 5 a line. Yeah. Is it 504 or 506? I forget. Uh, I believe real world is 504 in uh, Persona. I would it's not 704. be surprised if Square throws some sort of banner or something over the numbers to make it the same number in uh, that it is in Kingdom Hearts for this event. Yeah. It is also the same number as World Ends with you. How peculiar. I know that the uh, world with you fans are afraid of that fact because they don't want worlds in with you and Kingdom Hearts to be in the same canon. Meanwhile, Cage fans are like, "Oh hell yeah! Make mean, this fan make, 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 make this fandom even more weird, fricked up." Let's, let's do I it. I mean, to be fair, well, that, that would also mean that Kingdom Hearts, that Square is gonna have to acknowledge World Ends with You, and they like completely ignored World Ends with You, Neo. Yeah, that's marketing. What, I mean. what are you talking about? They just made a sequel. No, I mean oh, I they mean. like didn't market it at all. Oh, uh, true. Well, that's at what the same saying. time, though, like I had no interest in it, and I was very well aware that it was there. Because it's a sequel to a game I didn't like. <laughs> Now they're gonna realize, then they'll be like, oh, nobody wants this game. It's like, gee, I wonder why. I don't know. I think I'll answer. try it too eventually. I, I but I'm gonna have to either watch the anime or stick with the game. Yeah, I need to finish Probably watching the anime, game. and then I can play Neo. But, uh. I'll probably watch the anime eventually. That is to be all that. But, um. No, I know people freaked out when they saw that they were, when they were showing off 3D. It was like, oh man, I like, can't. I, I wasn't in the KH fandom when 3D was getting trailers. It was already out by the time that I finished 2.1.5 plus 2.5. Oh, it was a magical time, my man. Yuffie magical has time. her new limit. She now has her second limit. Tifa has her ultimate limit. Things are as it should be. I do think the limits level up faster when you're fighting higher level enemies. I'm not really sure what causes it, but it seems to work that way. Because I never have a problem fighting, facing end game level enemies and finishing off the limit levels. 
I don't know, it's interesting that some of them are like either damages or... Most of them is just using them a number of times. Uh, yeah, if higher level enemies can hit you harder, then the, uh, that might be it. Because that makes uh, your... Does that. Yeah. Okay, this is cool. Getting their dolphin, the, that use of that dolphin model in as much as they can. <laughs> it is pretty impressive. The one, the, the one where you ride it, the one that's swimming here, and the one that shows up in the middle of Tifa's attack. They made a dolphin model, um, model and they were using it, damn it. Oh, look, this is the uh, Jolly Roger. Flying Dutch, what the fuck? <laughs> I forgot this thing existed. He just yoded Tifa out of the battle, what the oh my fuck? God. Danny, this thing's going to be a boss awesome remake. Oh, no, no, dear I, God. I, I'm sorry. Oh, can oh, I leave oh, you? Can, can I have Tifa back? I mean, they did the hell house. No, I think it eaten her out of the battle until you beat it. Yeah. Okay, fine. Fuck you. Neo Bahamas. This is the first time I've seen it happen in your playthrough, but there's a few enemies that can do that. And if all three of you get eaten out of the battle, it acts as though you ran away. Okay, but that too should like be destroyed by now. Oh, yeah, definitely. The cloud, the cloud party are just drowning right now, it's fine. That's okay, we got more. Okay. <laughs> Did you say the name of this enemy is called Jolly Roger? I always joke like, like Jolly Roger, Cloud Punchman, Baby Jones. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. If it doesn't either. die, maybe Cameron could look at its name. Oh, it died. No, it isn't. Bull's dead. That's what it's called. It's dead. I, mean, I, wa I want that to be a boss that needs to be just as silly as the Hell House. You just want as many silly bosses as possible, don't you? Meanwhile, Tifa's like, what? I need mean, this one no almost fun. as much as I need Triceratank. Tifa's just like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> you were heated out of the battle. Yeah, were you not paying attention, Tifa? It's a shiny button, can I push it? Fuck yeah. There's a button, did you press it? Would Okay, I didn't realize we're making Undertale jokes now. Was it an Undertale joke? First time I heard that was in a Pokemon playthrough. Uh, it might have been around the time that Undertale was a thing, though, so I'm not sure. Mm. I was a little late to the Undertale party. How Ooh. late were you? I think I was late by about six months. Oh, so right when things oh. were getting toxic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jacksepticeye's entire playthrough was done and everything. I, I watched uh, an Undertale Let's Play almost entirely because Michaela wouldn't shut up about it. Ah! Okay. So you watched Let's Play before you played it? Oh, I still haven't beat the game. I'm terrible at it. Oh, and I bought I bought the game for myself a solid five years after I watched the Let's Play. Oh, uh, okay. So you saw the so you didn't really play it until like 2020 or something like that. Okay. And I'm crap wait, at the game. Oh wait, you played Delta Room, right? The first two chapters? I played the first chapter when it came out, uh, and I barely beat that. Oh. We uh, did chapter two as a group. Yeah, I'm I'm the one that uh, was the player character. I was like, I played last time, someone else play. Yeah. No, I never really played Holy Hell type stuff. So I am crap. Like I'm crap at bullet hell. It was kind of funny because every time things started shooting at me, I was like genuinely screaming in fear because I was not correct. doing a very good job of dodging. It. But that was a sudden when you face enemies that require you to get like as close to the bullets as possible. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Friendliness pellets. Friendliness pellets. What? Friendliness pellets. Yeah, you see, you put like as many as you can. Yeah, you see flowery vegetation marks. Oh, right. Yeah, it's awesome. uh, I need somebody to mod that uh, Chris, where the hell are we thing, and they're in Undertale. Yeah, I think someone did. They, someone made like a, a, used the sprites and did the oh, where yeah. like they changed the battle system to Delta Room, and I was like, what the hell are you doing? 
Yes. Oh, fighting. Oh. Is this not how you do it? New cloud level. No, this is how it works. <laughs> it changes to the Undertale battle system. Okay. That's funny. How, how the frick did Tifa get her limit before cloud? Well, because you gotta win yours. Okay. Actually, that matter. Oh, okay, so I'm able to get Omni Slash. Yeah, you can. I mean, if you can out. unlock it, yes. Getting Cloud semi-final limit's not too bad. It's getting it's getting Omni Slash that's a pain in everyone's ass. You, yeah. you're Cloud. Who? Quick, play dumb. Who's Cloud? Not that dumb. Oh, um, no, I, I'm Zach. Uh, I got a hair dye job. Uh, 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 is your name Cloud? Because you raid on everyone's parade? No, those are squalls and nobody likes them. <laughs> well, sneezes in the alternate universe of living. Oh, <laughs> Yuffie's just wielding a boat for power. As you do. As you do. Like, would you not wield a boat propeller? God! I can't say I do. Maybe she just really likes boats. I mean, Tifa doesn't even have, like, a claw gauntlet. She's just punching the shit out of things. I mean, one of her weapons is a claw gauntlet? It was, yeah. Oh, it's only on one hand. The other hand doesn't have a claw. I respect these idiots for trying, but, like... Should they just stop while they're ahead? Uh, no, they're being serious. Yuffie can dodge gunfire confirmed. If I'm point blank, basically. I mean, hey, if Wonder like Woman can do it. It's Yuffie does the thing where she casually dodges the bullets and then something explodes behind her. Yeah. Turns around. Oh shit! <laughs> like, that could have been me! I'm sorry, I just recently saw that uh, Pokemon animation yes. where the uh, Star Raptor. <laughs> yeah! And it's glorious. I think that's that the most I've enjoyed something with Pokemon branding on it in a long time. That is really a crane hard. game! Yippee, what the that. fuck? Fuck this shit, I'm out! Um. We probably want that. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, so you're going to go into the submarine and then enter the submarine mini game. If the game lets you save before you do, then save. Because if you fail this mini game, then you don't get it. You want to get it. Yes. You want all four. It is worth saves coming for all four if it takes. Them. Okay, I thought it froze for a second. No, I just a bit. Cloud! Cloud? Any chances to steal your day off? I mean, you, 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 it made the sleeping sound while you're still in Utah, so it's clearly the next one. Um. Uh. Um. I'm sorry. Alright, so I'll beat this really fast. I'm just gonna murder it. Oh, we can actually see what Phoenix looks like this time. I think last time we used it, we couldn't see it. We still can't really see it that hard enough. Oh well, yeah, at least it's out of wings. Oh, I thought. 
Okay. Hello, class. I'd like to introduce you to Bahamut. Hello, Bahamut. <laughs> the class says in unison. Hello, Bahamut. Oh. Got another one. Oh boy, you better get the one more she. Not all of them. Is this our first full limit? I believe so. I think so, yeah. Oh boy, we're in, assuming it doesn't die to this. We're at least in final haven on something. Hello, the Obama. Still weaker than Donald Duck. I mean, this does less damage than Tifa's uh, limit break supposed to, so. Tifa, murder! Get it, Tifa! Let's do it. One, two, three, four. You love it, Sam. Yes. Seven. Oh, Jesus H. Christ, you can come back. No. Yes! <laughs> I lost my eyes. She really did just murder this thing's arms. I was, I was oh, specifically trying to quote Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Arms! Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, oh remember what Clear Tranquil does. Oh shit. Did we just catch a light bulb in there? Yuffie. Yeah, I think he's got like life or something on Yuffie without you realizing it. Oh, that was realizing Oh my god. Oh! This is not good. The second um, time you can a close call like this. That's it. Never mind. What no the close fuck? Call. <laughs> wow. No, I'm sorry. What? That was. Uh... I'm not like a low level for this shit, am I? Oh, uh, you just lost. I think you're about exactly the level you should be. Um, you just got big guard and stuff. Did you use them in that fight? Sure did. Hmm. Well, instead of using Cure, try using White Wind as well. the next room and that's where we start to end. So I'm gonna go back and use the save point as a 10. Mm -hmm. Fully heal HP and SP and stuff. Or MP, not SP. This is, uh... It's okay. You know it's I mean, it's the same thing, basically. It's just they call it something different than basically practically every game. Thank you. 
low on magic juice. Oh man, you only had 14 of those. You wasted one. Can't believe it. I barely use them anyway. I was joking. I know. Intense. I mean, I never once used intent in Kingdom Hearts. Well, they're pretty, they're useless in Kingdom Hearts. Because there's not really any place where you would use one where it doesn't give you a save point. Which fully heals you anyway. Yeah. That makes it sound like there should be a countdown timer. Thank God there isn't, but still. We seriously have time to run up there and grab it. Like, what are we doing? Oh, if you can't beat it this time, then just fight enemies until you have your limits and try again. But I think you can beat it this time. hard at all? It, it doesn't really leave an impression on me, no. I think it, it took me a bit, but... I think I, I beat it first it try. Hit. I think it might have got hit, hit me hard, but I don't think it killed me. Listen, I don't remember this game ever getting hard until Sephiroth. It's not that I never died, but there was never anything that I died to multiple times just made me think of them as something being particularly difficult. I also gave Yuffie a summon, so now we can just drop a bunch of them on him. That might be the best. Cloud has Phoenix and Neo Bahamut, Tifa has Bahamut, also, oh, Tifa's so still close to our limit, so we should be able to get to see that again. Seriously, this thing has a oh, lot of HP. Something that you were using Cure after Big Guard, as I said earlier, uh, Big Guard makes Cure spells do less healing. I didn't use Big Guard. I told you that. I know. If you use Midgard, cure spells are less effective on yourself. That's why you wanted to get White Wind. Also why you're gonna want to get that spell from the Succubus thing. Yeah, because if it's a full heal, then it won't be like a seven. Rip his arms off. Rip his arm off and beat it to death with it! It still has its arms. That's unfortunate. useful than regular spells. So if you have an enemy skill that does lightning damage, then use that, basically.
ready. Will it just not put them down? I think I'm telling you, break one. Can you target its arms instead of it? You should be able to. There you go. I didn't even know it did this. I think I murdered its arm before it could. I did last time! Yeah, like last time. Will you stop? I don't want it. Now it might as well be a game over. Oh, it is a game over. A non-standard game over. All right, get your limits ready before you go in. <laughs> I think Square Enix just likes pissing me off sometimes. It seems to be a trend whenever you play Square Enix games. Walk in a circle. Yeah. Then you can tent yourself again. Let's see. Will enemies just randomly spawn in here? Don't know. I don't think so. I think they would have spawned by now if they did. Okay, let's try going further up then, I guess. Ah, Square Enix! Or Square Soft. Yes. Alright, you yeah, have this hallway here. Sorry to intrude, but I think I'm in some of the videos is that way, so. Alright. I'll be. In case you guys are still here, but I'm going to go on that again. Okay. You know, you don't have to keep defending, you can just not hit a button. Then it'll deal more damage. Which is how the limit's calculated anyway. Yeah. Yeah, just keep healing yourself, I guess. Stop targeting people. Motherfucker. What? 
Yuffie had a reflect it? ring on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Cool. That explains why whenever I try to cure her, I end up curing the enemy. I think that might also mean that you casted Big Guard on the enemy instead of Yuffie. I see now why Reflect is bullshit. Like, that's supposed to tell the difference between offensive attacks and attacks. I want to attack Yuffie. Oh, and Cloud, lucky me. How about that airline food? Okay, so at least we figured out that issue. Thank God. Alright, that's two down. Now I just needed to hit Cloud. No, Cloud. Thank you. You know what I think you could do? Have Yuffie and Tifa attack Cloud. Will that work? I think so. Uh, Try it. Let's see, they Obviously have... just use basic attacks. And be careful not to go overboard, because if he dies, his limit will be set. They don't have their basic attacks, they have their Linux! Oh, true. It doesn't look like that builds limit. Ah, uh, rip. Eh, there was an attempt. I thought I, thought I just big-brained. It was worth an attempt, I appreciate it. Not on anybody. I don't think I have it on anyone at the moment. Ah. I mean, I usually do actually take the cover material off for certain bosses. But like, especially like Sephiroth, I, I, would, I want him to be spreading damage out over the whole party, not concentrating on one member. Such compelling gameplay. Why 
Why is there not another way to charge limit? Well, you're not expected to do this. Like, I think they actually don't want you to do this, but sometimes it's worth doing. Like against that thing? In this case, that's the way against that thing. I think now we're gonna go into an o OP and murder it. that will affect anything, maybe. Confirmation bias for the win. Let's freaking go. Honestly, just run away. It'll be quicker. Wow, it takes a while to flee from battle, doesn't it? Yeah. Save the game again, and so if you do for some reason die or fail the submarine mini game, you already have your limits. <clears throat> so enemies can spawn in this room. We just got really unlucky. <clears throat> what excitement! Oh god, if I fail the submarine minigame, I'll have to fight the boss again. Yeah. Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, shit. Is uh, Cloud's a meteor attack better, or his second to last limit? His, uh... Mm. I think his second to last limit might be better? I don't know. It is his second to last. So His meteor skill is pretty damn good, though. Yeah, meteor rain is fantastic, so that's why I'm, like, hesitant. What's the other limit he's got? Finishing touch. Do you have any memory of that at all, or no? I'll ask Google. Yeah, that's what I'm finding, too. Okay, good. Because I guess finishing touch has a chance to instantly kill. So, for, like, groups, it can wipe them out. But for a boss, that's a no-go. What? <laughs> 
pulled out Neo Bahamut first, start with heavy hitters. Try to get rid of his arms as fast as possible. Yeah, we're essentially screwed if he grabs someone before his arms get ripped off, aren't we? Definitely target its arms first. Arms. The arms again. Now I can't grab you, just gotta keep your HP in. Yeah, trying is probably the best idea with people. If it is a uh Without the enemy skills. Ugh. Yeah, thank you for telling me about those items, because that came in handy. Um, uh, hang on. Damn it, I wanted to go back and save. I don't think it's gonna let you. Shit. See, I was hoping 
to save and then be able to not do the boss if I fail the mini game. It didn't let you run, so I probably won't. Because it's supposed to be like you're in a hurry to get in the submarine. As I recall, as long as you take your time, you shouldn't be good. Anymore. A skimitar. The weapon for Cloud. Leviathan scales. And of some sort. Uh, skimitar is not for Cloud. Holy oh, damn. Cool. There's a lot fewer material slots, but damn. What's attack percentage? Like, the chance of a, like... I don't know what that means. I don't know either, actually. Sorry, gents, apparently we're in a hurry. Nothing personnel, kid. This, however, is very personal. Wonder who the scimitar is for, then, if it's not Cloud. Scroll through your items and just tell you what's over there. I thought it was a sword. Uh, yeah, Skimitar is a sword. No one else really use swords. Unless it's a Sid weapon and it's just really long? I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, there's a save point. Alright. I didn't remember the same point was here. The game was more merciful than I thought. failed them in the game, although it's been a while, so I don't think I could explain how it works. The game will, though. <laughs> I never got to do my victory into battle! Is that just a soldier thing? Because, like, that's clouds. Oh man, there's a gif of that it's supposed to be like that makes it look like clouds dancing. <laughs> Great. We don't know how to pilot this thing. Read the manual. What? Beginner's edition. Up descend. Okay. Speed up, fire, and speed down. I thought that was an over to like speed up and speed on. Okay, so... Okay, there we go. So, X is speed up, B is speed down, Y is fire. Carrying the materia. 
Oh god. This is like... Well, I rammed them, but that doesn't help. No, don't, help. don't ram them, shoot them. Um, is that the weapon up there? You don't need to worry about the weapon right now, just fire at that thing. This is a mini game, not the actual control of the submarine and explorer of Midgar for a while. Got him. Apparently. You did it! Woo! That was hard. Ugh. It's still counting down! Um. Game? Hello? Game? Yeah, now you have to go retrieve it. Which is why you use the sub. Now be careful because now you can encounter the weapon. So maybe save the game before you try to get the huge material. Save the game before you got in the ship? Sure did. Probably should, Again. right? Yeah, because the weapon's down here, and if you accidentally run into it while you're trying to find the huge material, now I'll have to fight it! Yeah, and you can't run away from weapons. Okay, where's the huge material? You're gonna be looking for a sunken. Oh, there it is! The weapon. I should leave it be. I should leave it be, yeah. We're looking for a sunken ship. Okay, so the weapon won't, like, hunt me down while I'm out here, will it? I don't think so. I think it just moves in a set track. It's just a matter of keep an eye on where it's at so you don't accidentally run into it. Now, for some reason, you piloted all the way back without uh, retrieving it, so it's actually further away than you would think. Uh. The hell? Honestly, forget what that is. You can't interact with it, can you? I'm just saying. Oh, yay. That's made to be thousand years old. The key to ancients. Alright, I guess. Glad we got that. Okay. Uh, so we're avoiding weapon and looking yes. for the sunken submarine. Yeah, we're, we're trying to retrieve the huge material right now. Danny, welcome back, by the way. I didn't hear the bedink. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me back. You remember where it's at, by all means, because I don't remember exactly how to get to it. Uh, the huge material on the southern ship? Yeah. I don't recall. Should I pull up a guide? Uh, uh, okay, sure, I the... guess. Okay. Back to where we started, yeah. A really steep drop off from shore, by the way. Yeah, it is. I still don't see any sign of weapon, but I'm very paranoid. I mean, sure he was right the next to you when you first dived, yeah. Luckily, he, did, he doesn't seem to beeline for you, he's just work, work, swims nah. to his set path. There! Yeah, no, he had to, like, you had to, like, charge at him. He's just chilling in the water. Yeah, 
And we have the huge materia. There, now there's lots of other stuff you can find with submarine. You should probably save before you do any more exploring, but there are secret paths underneath the continent all over the place. Yep. And the one for Vincent is there's a secret path underneath the continent that to uh near the cold area, I believe. And then just inside the cave you find something important to Vincent and he joins the party for like a fight. Yep. It's a very minor side quest because Vincent's yeah. clearly the most thoroughly cut content in the game. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty easy to miss him. Woo! Well, that was an adventure. I'm just talking about the Vincent quest. We got bullied pretty hard by that boss. Got not gonna How's that, how did that go? It took it. It was his third try we beat it on. I just get his teeth. Uh, not so much. We stopped and we grinded up his limits before and trying it a third time. Yeah, it was yeah, very... So we hammered him pretty hard. It's it... arm survived a surprisingly long time, though. Yeah, especially because... We were hammered with a lot of crap. Yeah, the arms got destroyed pretty quickly, I thought, the first time. Yeah. I wonder if one of Tifa's uh, limit break sec segments has a chance of insta-killing enemies or something. You know what? That's possible. Yeah, well, maybe like crit a couple times, not let me break. He didn't get any Yaz any of the tries, so. Oh, true. He seems to be taking it safe instead of trying for Yaz. Are Yaz better? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the Yaz cool. do, I think, double damage. Uh... But they're harder to get because they're usually surrounded by misses. Okay, uh, this seems like a good spot to end. Let's see, the things that were on my list for tonight were, uh, continue the main plot in Junon. Did which it? we did. And find the enemy skill materia, and do Wutai, so we're good. Alright, so, it's a successful job. Only one huge materia left! Crap, did they mention where at? It's Midgar, isn't it? No. No? You will be going back to Midgar, but not yet, I don't think. I don't think they mentioned where the... They did? Mm. Unless I completely and totally missed it. I mean, it should be on board the rocket, shouldn't it, Danny? I think so. I want to say it is in Rocket City. Uh, yeah, I think it's in Rocket Town. You got to get it out of the town, rocket. Thank you. Okay, in that case, we'll be heading to Rocket Town next time. Yay, Sid stuff. We'll do plot, uh, Sid stuff, maybe some Vincent stuff, and then I have a lot of preparations to make for the... Yeah. If we can get through Midgar next stream, then the stream after... the Because there's a return to Midgar segment. Then the stream after that, we would finish the game. Holy crap. If we don't get to Midgar, then it would probably take two streams. Let's see, I work tomorrow morning, first shift, 7 to 3, so I won't have time to go around doing enemy skills or anything else. And, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, well, we'll figure this out. We literally but yeah, my, my basic point is we've got like two or three streams left, max. That's, that's wild. Alright, so we'll be back tomorrow with more Final Fantasy VII shenanigans.